So what did you want to hear from people after you told them? Sometimes people don't know what to say or they say the wrong thing, frankly. Right, right. People, people did say a lot of um, sort of challenging things to me. And again, I sort of wore, uh, you know, hats from both sides of the bed. So when I heard something that didn't settle well for me, I had the, the ability to say, you know what, that's not working for me. For example, uh, I had a number of people sort of sh shockingly say, my neighbor's sister-in-law's cousin's niece had breast cancer and she died from it. So good luck. It's wild, right? Right. So, but what I know for sure is that when people try to engage, it, it comes from a loving place. And the majority of the time, people say things that don't come across very well because they're doing the best that they can. So what I always recommend is that people say, begin by saying, I'm really scared about your diagnosis. I don't know what to say. I really need help from you to let me know what I can say and how I can be a support to you, right? right? So just being honest and saying, I have no idea what to say and I wanna do my very best and I really don't wanna say something that's gonna come across as either hurtful or dismissive or anything else. So help me help you. And that's a, that's a nice way to start because it's sort of disarming. And then you yes. follow up by saying, can we make a, a pact that if I say something really stupid, first of all, know that it came from a loving place. And will you tell me that it came across the wrong way? And that way I'll know what works and what doesn't work for you. So yeah. it's really and it's, a matter of being honest. It is. And and simply speaking. And so many people are so afraid of that simplicity. Another thing that you could do with a friend or a loved one who's, who's feeling really overwhelmed and, and needs help but doesn't know what he or she needs, what you could do is you could send an email with a list of options like food preparation, house cleaning, dog walking, grocery shopping, childcare, lawn mowing. Right, you can put all of those in an email and then a, a line at the bottom that says other. And you can send that to your friend and, say, and just say, okay, check everything off that you need help with. And if there's, not, if there's something on this list that isn't included, add it in. You do that, I will make sure everything gets done. That is a really great way for someone to be present, to offer support in a way that the person on the receiving end of an email says, oh, this is fabulous, I can just check off what I need. That's a, a really great way to engage someone and offer support.